So I plan to do a video today basically on um, divestment on a different level. Now, you know, I really do not understand or agree with the whole idea on... I don't get it. Well, like, I talked about this in the past, like, the jealousy that some um, platforms have on wh white women, Hispanic women, Asian women, you know. Okay, you know, if you're black and you have racist tendencies, you know, against other races of people, it's, honestly, if you think of it, it wouldn't seem like it would be something that would really affect you that much as a mammy, for example. Because mammy, for example, is not going to really care about that too much because, you know, what she deals with is specifically black men, right? She specifically deals with black men. She specifically is interested in, you know, having black children. So, in her day-to-day -day life, when it comes to her family, she doesn't hate her family because she's black. She loves her, I guess, black children and, you know, a black, her black man, you know, because she, she's like that. She's racist, basically, like any other race of people that's racist, you know. Now, the thing is, what I don't get is... When people take that racist mentality to divestment and spoilers, like, you see plenty of platforms with racist behavior from divested and spoiler platforms. And to me, I don't get that. To me, I'm like, no, you hate white women, you hate biracial women, you hate Hispanic women, um, Asian women. But you're trying to date someone, trying to marry someone, trying to get in a serious relationship with someone who is white, Hispanic, Asian, maybe even mixed. Um, you're trying to get in a relationship with someone you literally hate on some level. I mean, you have some kind of ill feelings to whiteness. I mean, or are you saying you just hate women? I mean, do you hate yourself? No, I don't think it's just the fact that they're women it's because of their race so that's what i don't understand like if you're hating women of other races yet you're trying to swirl or divest when i think it's really just never gonna work you know and you can see this on some channels like um i was just talking about the one channel i was talking about previously and previous to this video and you know you can see people who do things like that they never get any luck with actually seeking out what they're looking for you know with other races long term they're not going to because you innately hate those races you hate those women because they're white you hate those women because they're hispanic you hate those women because they're asian you see, the people that you're dating, they have family members. They are those the race that you are hating on, you know. Um, it makes no sense to be in a relationship with someone that you hate their race to. Like, that's dysfunctional on so many levels. And I don't understand why anyone would put themselves in that type of self-destructive situation and position. Like, you should probably change your mindset, honestly, because, like, who is racist and tries to interracially date? That doesn't make any sense to me. Especially when you guys talk about, like, being in, in, long -term, in a long-term interracial relationship and things like that. You know, openly hating, you know, white people. Just, it's just the same thing as people who talk about, like, saying that, like, racist, white or Hispanic or Asian men are going to be in relationships with black women or whatever, which to me is weird because I've never heard or seen or that just doesn't make any sense to me. People who claim that, uh, to me, I just think are stupid. 
um, as a swirler myself, I'm divested myself. So, I mean, like, I just, I just don't understand why people hate the specific people they're trying to date. To me, I mean, like, you're, it's a recipe for failure. So, I don't understand that. Um, on top of it, I just feel like, um, when people act like, and I remember, actually, honestly, when I first started out on YouTube back in 2019, I remember people would talk about this, and I always was like, what? Because they knew that I was a swirler, and, you know, I was in the sector where, uh, back then, I was kind of, like, more, I wasn't really in the sector of divestment and swirler. I was more, like, pro, um... My preference, basically, because I prefer lighter skinned men. And so I was more pro, like, light skin, I guess you could say, in that regard. Um, but not, like, against dark skinned people. I've never hated on dark skinned people. I've always thought that dark skinned people were beautiful and all that stuff. Um, but the thing is, like, for me, it's just like, I don't understand, basically, like, why people back then would try and talk about, like, Hating, like, mixed people, white people, Asian people, Hispanic people. I was like, what? Because I would say that, you know, I'm I'm divested, I'm a swirler. And then people would assume that I had a hate for those type of other races of women. And it would always be weird to me because it's like, if I am interracially dating, why would I have issues with people of another race? Quite obviously, I don't have issues with other people of other races. If I did, I wouldn't be dating interracially. Like, that kind of obvious. I have to be quiet because I wasn't sure if anyone was coming in the door. <laughs> anyway, um, so... To me, that was a major thing that I just did not understand. Um, and divestment pages and platforms that focus so much on Hispanic and Asian and mixed race white women in a negative way, you know? Like, to me, that's just so odd. And I think it goes back to the idea that these people aren't really swirlers. And they're just people who basically feel rejected, you know, by black men. And that's the thing. That's why I was so confused when I first got on YouTube because it was like people would always talk about like how like, you these they would talk about divestors as if they were rejected by black men, like they were with black men. in the past and you know they had some kind of problem with black men and now they're basically in a situation where you know they weren't wanted by black men and therefore they go with white men and i it's from my perspective it was just like um what like uh, to me i i just didn't i just didn't know that anyone would really literally do that. But then, nowadays, it's kind of like to this point where I'm kind of like, I see what the people they're talking about, and I'm like, oh, they really do exist, <laughs> you know? But, I mean, like, from my perspective, it's like, that's not my experience. And I hate it when other black people, black women, have this experience and then try and put their experience on me. It's like, no. I, I never was with those kind of men. I, I would always reject them and you take them. Now you're tired of taking them. And I mean, like, I don't really even know or care. Like, honestly, to me, I, I never consider if black men are, you know, viable or not viable. And I'll never determine that or say that they're not viable or that they are viable. They aren't for me because I'm not attracted to them. But I mean, for other people, I never really... I never really try to basically see what is viable or what's going on there, really. I'm not really concerned, really. But um, it goes back to the black man. And it, to me, 
that's total mammy behavior. Because the reason they get mad at white women, Hispanic women, Asian women, and all those other races of women is because, you know, obviously most Most people of other races, basically, are, you know, preferred within the race, you know. You get that, too. I get that. But I think it comes back to, because they always go start talking about the black man with that, um, with women of those other races. And it's like, why do you care? If you are a real swirler, you wouldn't care because you're not attracted to them. Honestly, the way I see it is when I would see people who were attracted to black men who are of other races and things of that nature, I always liked it because it was like, oh, it's a buffer. See, she's interested in you. Go, go get her kind of like thing, you know. I would say that to black mammies too. And by the way, I kind of see white women who are into only black men as kind of like mammies too but that's just a whole different story i don't think mammies is a specific thing for race really i don't understand why it would be because they both cape for black men to me so i mean like that's pretty much mammy behavior but anyway um i just kind of feel like when you see how those kind of divesters and swirlers react towards you know um, basically women of other races, it kind of like lets you know that they're not divested. They're not really divested. They're still hurt by black men. And, you know, that's the thing with divesting and swirling. I kind of feel like being divested and being a swirl is not about being hurt. <laughs> It really isn't, and not in my experience. I mean, like, just because you're not interested in black men does not mean you're hurt. You could have never been with a black man. If you've never been with a black man, how can you get hurt? That's why I never understood it. Because uh, people come to my channel and think that I'm one of those hurt divesters or whatever, and I'd always be like, okay, so if I was hurt, when did you hurt me and how? Because I never understood, like, how can you do it if I'm not, if I've never been with you, and I've never wanted you, I've never talked to you, I've never dated you, I've never been in a dream and dreamed of having sex with you. I, there's never been anything. There's never been a crush, there's never been a waking crush, a sleeping crush, a, a look with one eye while I'm sleeping. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, how am I supposed to experience hurt if, you know, I've never experienced being with a black man? And that's the thing with them. It's just like, okay, the fact that you were hurt by a black man to me doesn't make you divested or a swirler to me. That's just revenge, you know? And when you show behavior of anger because of black men... It just shows that you're doing a revenge swirl and you are basically doing a situation where you are trying to, you know, um, basically get over the hurt that happened to you by a black man. Why do you have to always associate your race, though? That's what I don't get. Just because you met a bad black man, could you just choose a better man? Like, if you choose a better man... If he was black, maybe it would make you have some closure in the fact that, you know, you were with a bad black man. So then you wouldn't have to blame them all. I'm just saying. I'm trying to come up with a solution here. Because, I mean, like, all that anger towards black men does not seem healthy for yourself to me. So, I, I don't know. It's just, like, that's what I feel like with some angry, divested channels. It's just, like, wow, it's a little too much to me, you know. I like divested channels that aren't really focused on black men and, and anger against black men like that, but more focused on women. I prefer it where they're focusing more on women and they're talking about getting, like, leveling up 
and doing better for yourself. Things like that. If you're just sitting, just doing, you know, nothing about, you know, leveling up, but all you're doing is just hating on other people because you're upset with where they, where you blame them for basically the position that you're in. To me, I mean, like, I, I, I can't do a channel like that. I just can't do a channel like that. Um, in one case, I could say, I can understand, like, there's one hate channel that's a divested channel, and I understand her perspective, because to me, I'm like, like, you stuck with one, and you had a kid with one, and in that case, I understand this is probably your way of bringing out your frustration, because, I mean, like, you're stuck with him for 18 years, so that's why you're mad, and I understand it, you know, so it's understandable, you know, you're stuck, you know, um, is someone like that divested or a swirler? Hey, I don't know, that's up to them. Honestly, I would say that they are a swirler, though, honestly, for goodness sakes, yes, they're a swirler, and I would say they're divested, um, but, yeah, I don't know. In that case, I, I don't know. I just don't have anything against that particular content creator. But other content creators that are just, like, angry for no freaking reason to me. And it's just because they were rejected or whatever. I just am, like, I, I just, I, I just, I can't really put up with watching them too long, honestly. Because it just gets boring to me. Just my personal perspective. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.